To replace your water pump, you should be working on a cool engine that has no pressure in the coolant system. You will need to drain the coolant system to below the water pump level. Please see our article on coolant flush and replacement by following the link at the end of this video for additional assistance. Remove all the coolant hoses from the pump and the thermostat as indicated by the red arrows. Use a 10 mm socket and remove the hard line from the pump, red arrow. Make sure to replace the O-ring on the end of the hard line where it joins the coolant pump. Remove the two electrical connections on the top of the thermostat housing, red arrows. You're going to need to remove the drive belt. Please see the link at the end of this video for our article and video on drive belt removal for additional assistance. Remove the three 13 mm bolts from the power steering pulley and remove the pulley, red arrow. Remove the three 13 mm nuts and bolts, red arrows, holding the power steering pump and reservoir to the mount. Do not drain or separate any lines on the power steering pump. There's not a lot of room to work behind the pump, so take care not to drop the nuts on the back of the mount. With the pump loose, set it aside with the lines attached. Slide the locking mechanism on the engine wiring harness, red arrow, open, and pull the plug, yellow arrow, from the connection. You will need the room to get your wrench in, so set it aside in the engine bay. There are four 6mm Allen bolts holding the coolant pump to the engine block. Red arrows, only one shown. These are all difficult to reach and you don't want to strip them. I found a long 6mm Allen worked for the bottom and upper rear bolts and an old fashioned Allen key worked for the top front bolt. Make sure the Allen is completely seated before you try and break the bolt loose. Note, removing the tensioner assembly makes it a lot easier to get the last 6mm Allen bolt. Please follow the link at the end of this video for additional instructions on those procedures. With the four bolts removed, you can remove the pump from the engine, red arrow. Even though you have drained the coolant, be prepared for a fair amount of coolant to come out of the pump and block. The area where the pump mounts to the engine can get very dirty and oily. Make sure to give it a good cleaning before reinstalling the pump. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.